All right, so yesterday we went to the flea market, which we don't go to very often because it's pretty far away, but it was a nice day out for December, and we just wanted to go and check it out. So Elsa's going to show you what we got. And I kind of have fun there. Yes, there's rides and stuff, so Elsa has a good time. She spends some of her allowance on rides. Money. Not allowance, money. That's, that's what money allowance is. All right, so Elsa has been asking and asking and asking for a puppy surprise at the thrift store, but we always find them without what? Puppy. Puppies. And this one has... Yes. Show them. A puppy, just one. But I promised her when we found one with a puppy, she could get it. So we paid $5 for this, woof, which was a bit much, woof, but woof, that's okay. Also, I was really, really excited about and it. And you can put them in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Elsa, what's next? Um, what gentle, we, gentle, gentle, gentle. What did is this? Okay. So, you probably saw her peeking out of the bag. We got... The American Girl kit. And yes, we do already have her, but the ones that we have have horrible wigs, either cut or stained. The one I got on Craigslist for $20 uh, has a horrible stain along the part line. So that she was $30, and her wig is in great condition. So I'm planning to use the other ones for customs, and we'll get cool wigs for them. Um, but it was really exciting because she was $30, which is a great price for a good condition American Girl. Her limbs are a little bit loose, but we can fix that. These slippers are American Girl as well. And the dress. The underwear are not, but she does have underwear that are appropriate size for American Girl. So we actually scored quite a few things for $30 that are American Girl. The doll, the slippers, and the dress. Elsa also got a Shopkins wine bag, which she's going to open for us. I'm going to go ahead and keep grabbing. Um, with the kit, uh, we did get a stand, which we use for often when we're doing reviews or things. So that's exciting. And sometimes we display them in our dollhouse that way. I can't open this. All right. Why don't you show them something else while I open up your blind back box? Uh-huh. Black doll. Black doll. Black doll. So currently Elsa is into the Bratz dolls. I am not familiar with the Bratz line, so I'm sorry. Um, yikes. We did not notice that. That's unfortunate. Hopefully we can get that out. Uh, she does have painted fingernails, no shoes, but she is wearing clothes and currently Elsa is wanting to try out the brat. So we got her for relatively cheap. We'll explain that in a second. Go ahead and show the next thing. Twilight. So we got Twilight Sparkle, Equestria Girl. She's wearing a dress. No, and... it's not from a Twistio Girl right now. It's from like the high. Like... Okay. Candlelight high. Yeah. And she did come with shoes, and she's in pretty good condition. She definitely needs a uh, hairstyling, but those two yeah. dolls together were three dollars, so we thought we would uh, get those and try them out. All right, so Elsa's just going to show you her uh, blind box, what she got. So this was a new line I hadn't seen before. It's two Shopkins inside a lunch box. And I hadn't seen them before, but, you know, Shopkins, we do kind of hit or miss. So this was the packaging, and there is the little collector's guide inside. It comes in this little bunch of pale kind of thing, which could be a good size for American girls. So that would be fun. Or, like, even a pencil box. It kind of looks like it could go as two. Okay, I'll show them on camera what you got. Oh, oh, I think I got a donut. Donut. Gonna be a donut. Okay, so while she's doing that, this is the food fair line. And this is the collector's guide. So go ahead and show them, Elsa. Oh, it looks like put a it donut. On the, put it on the... It looks like the donut we made for the American girls. So, yeah, it does look like one we made for American girls. This one is Delish Donut. Look at the back. Yeah. So she's Delish Donut um, from the Collector's Guide. Okay, want to show them one more? Can I help you? Like I said, I haven't seen this line before, it says, on the packaging 2016. So I could have missed this, but I don't remember it coming out. 
I don't need this. You don't need that, Elsa? Mm -mm. Show them on oh, camera. It's a bottle, it's a bottle, it's a bottle. Show them on don't camera. And like... that looks like it's called Flava Ava. I could be wrong, but that's what I... Oh, it says Moo on it, so probably not. Show them on there again. Oh, no, this says Moo, Moo on it on the collector's guide. So I think I am right that it's Flava Ava. And so uh, Elsa paid $3 for the little blind box, but that was with her allowance. Um, so these were the things we got at the flea market, and we yeah. obviously spent a bit more than we planned to because we got the American Girl, but like I said, she's definitely going to help out our collection and not have a horribly stained wig. So we're just going to clean these girls up. Hopefully we can fix the Bratz girl up and Elsa can play with her more. And <laughs> their hair needs work. Yeah, they all need some <laughs> hair work, don't they? Yeah. All right, so please let us know if you liked this. It's kind of a mini haul since we spent a lot on the kit doll compared to the other things. So we hope you guys have a good day. Please make sure you subscribe and make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Thumbs up and bye, guys. Bye, guys.